Yo, what's up guys? You got Poe Game here. Today we have a video on Bashy Legion, one of the coolest Pokemon names ever, by the way. And just a competitive look at it, we're looking at the future, right? Pokemon Legends Arceus obviously does not have any competitive Pokemon. That's just something they said, there's no battling. But this Pokemon will eventually be allowed in a game. So I wanted to talk about it in aspect of like Gen 9 or in terms of Gen 9 and uh, just give my overall thoughts on it. Why I think it's kind of comparable to Crawdont in a way, even though it's Water Ghost versus Crawdont's Water Dart. Simply because of its adaptability ability. And I just wanted to share my thoughts. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Let me know your thoughts as well on Basket Legion, uh, both male and female, down below. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe. I upload Pokemon videos every single day. And my end of the year goal is 300,000 subscribers. So let's talk about Basket Legion. First off, like I said, one of the hardest names of Pokemon. I love it. Absolutely love it. So regular Basculin does not evolve, but um, the Basculin, I believe, uh, Basculin White Stripe, I believe is the name of it. Yes, White Stripe. Uh, does evolve into um, Basca Legion. Now, Water and Ghost is really good offensive typing. We have another Water Ghost that's pretty decent defensively, which is actually Jellicent right here. And the difference between male and female uh, Basca Legion is that male uh, both have adaptability. Obviously, that's a big thing, right? We're always going to talk about adaptability because adaptability just makes moves hit incredibly hard. But the difference is the male is a physical variant, whereas the female is a special variant. There's, uh, yeah, you have. Uh, base 112 attack on the male, whereas the female has base 100 special attack and base 92 attack. So uh, it's still pretty decent on the physical side, obviously, but the female can take advantage of special attacks better than the male can. So adaptability is incredibly crazy, right? We know Pokemon like Crawdon, although slow, are incredibly strong wall breakers simply because of the combination of high attacks that base 120 attack. Move like knockoff, incredible move, crab hammer or liquidation, and priority in Aqua Jet. And Basket Legion can be kind of similar, but at the same time, it is also just slightly weaker than Crawdon, slightly weaker, but faster. And that I think is such a big deal for this Pokemon. Let's just put uh, let's just put liquidation here, even though it doesn't have it currently. Let's just put liquidation there, just so we can see its attack stat. So. Now this is this mod's attack stat, 355. Now again, that's just slightly off from Crawdon, which is 372 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if we actually just put this, just want to make it adamant. Just want to, again, compare the two. Like, it's just slightly different, or slightly better, but, or slightly worse, but look at the speed difference between this and max speed Crawdon. Now max speed Crawdon adamant does outspeed some pretty, uh, these threats like zero speed Rotom, mods like Skarmory and Scizor and below, but this gives it, the speed tier over Adamant Breloom, Max Speed Tyranitar, Timid Magnezone, Landers. So automatically, like when I'm looking at the two, and on top of that, it has base 120 HP, which is something to keep in mind. So while it's not the bulkiest of Pokemon defense stat wise, the base 120 HP is really, really crazy for it because it actually takes some hits. So this mod has potential, I think, to be the new uh, Crawdon simply because of adaptability. Now, when we look at Basque Legion's moveset currently, a few things that I think also comparatively to Crawdon, it has Aqua Jet priority, so that's awesome. Like, it's not the fastest Pokemon, but it's also faster than Crawdon, so it has, still has priority, which is great. Uh, and then as we look at its actual move pool, it doesn't really have access to any physical water moves here, or no physical ghost moves. We'll get into that in a second, but I do want to, uh, to you know, make you look at Wave Crash right here. So Wave Crash is a move that the user shrouds itself in water and slams into the target with its whole body to inflict damage. This also damages the user and raises the user's action speed. So this is a recoil move, base 75. Uh, it actually almost looks like submission, just you know a little bit weaker. And the the buff of it is that it raises your action speed. Now that's how it is in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So this is also the only physical water move that it uh, can really use in the game, right? And honestly, this is the best water move it can use in the game. But if this changes, right? Because instead of raising the action speed, uh, because otherwise, why the hell would you use this move, right? In, nor in normal Pokemon, why would I ever use this move over liquidation over waterfall? It's weaker and it, t it gives me recoil, period. So I would think that in competitive Pokemon, again, this is just theory mining right here, and this is why I wanna know your thoughts, this would actually raise your speed, your actual speed, plus one. If that is the case, again, there's a big if there, but we already talked about victory dance and how certain things change. Like, if that raises your actual speed by plus one, that is such a huge thing for this Pokemon. Obviously, that helps it deal with its already low speed. And, you know, 255 at plus one is 
faster than very relevant threats. That's 382 speed. That's faster than Tornado's Theory, and that's faster than Latios, right? Just slower than Weaver, but it's faster than uh, Kartana and things like that. Now, I don't know if that would actually do the exact same thing, but it seems really weird to make its signature move, Wave Crash, be in, uh, you know, a, a generic Pokemon game and just have it be really weak, even if it's like 85, even if it gets buffed to 80 or 85, whatever, and just give you recoil, right? Why would I use that over Waterfall or Liquidation? Uh, unless it was doing that. So that's something to think about, right? And potentially having that. Now, the other things I want to think about when it comes to this Pokemon is that uh, if we look at regular Basculin, which I believe I have right here, so obviously Liquidation and Superpower are something it's move pull too. Uh, I'm really hoping that this means this Pokemon in the future will get Liquidation. Obviously, this this Basculin and this Basculin are different, two different Pokemon, and they don't have the same move pulls at all. Uh, but that's also, I think, due to Legends Arceus uh, limits on moves and stuff like that. So again, those are things that are pretty big moves I think this Pokemon could actually use. And the other would be uh, Flip Turn. Flip Turn would be another great move for this Pokemon. So I would love to see something like this on it. And your last move, obviously Flip Turn for the momentum, or you could do Aqua Jet. Now your last move I think would be really important. I think this is going to really determine if this Pokemon is actually going to be really good on the physical side. It needs a physical ghost move. Now, there's one physical ghost move that I feel like so many Pokemon should get. And uh, this is no exception. I would love for it to get Poltergeist. I think Poltergeist would be insane on this Pokemon, right? And uh, let's just... Like, the, just being able to have... The just combination of, of two great physical moves, right? Liquidation plus Poltergeist plus Priority and Aqua Jet. And if Wave Crash raises, raises your speed, you have that as an option as well. Uh, you can do Flip Turn as well for Choice Band sets, Life Orb sets, and stuff like that. So I think this can make this thing a really big killer. And again, being a little bit of uh, the plus over Crawdon, not only is it bulkier because of its HP, and, uh, but... It is faster than relevant threats. So this has potential to be the new Crawdon and maybe even just slightly better. Now, again, I'm not... Dark and Ghost are... They're slightly comparable in terms of stab, but Dark is arguably better just because Dark, uh, you can't be immune to it. Whereas Ghost, obviously, your normal type, you can uh, be immune to it. But um, And also, Crawdon obviously has Liquidation and Knock Off, so it doesn't have to worry about missing its moves. So even if Basque Legion does get Poltergeist, there's a chance it misses its move. It's only APP as well, whereas getting rid of your opponent's item via knockoff. So I'm not saying Kronos bad, because no, it's a, it's a fantastic Pokemon. It is an amazing Pokemon. But I think this has a lot of potential to give it some competition in terms of adaptability, which is the reason why I'm comparing them, if you didn't know. Adaptability is the reason why I'm comparing them. Uh, but yeah, this could be absolutely insane for this Pokemon. Uh, this has a ton of potential to be uh, just a, a wall breaker in the OU tier. Like, that's it. Just a straight up OU wall breaker. Uh, very, very hard to switch into. Decently hard to beat. Um, like even, like let's just say choice band. This is gonna tweak or everything, but let's go, let's go Basculin real quick, just because. Let's make a choice band, and we're going to give it uh, just to show you off a damage calc. We're gonna give it one one twelve. We have that. Let's make it ghost as well, and let's give it poltergeist to watch. Well, let's give it poltergeist right here. This is gonna easily tweak you. I believe every physical wall in the game. So you have poltergeist right now. Let's take a Skarmory real quick. Poltergeist does 61 to 71. Yep, and if your Skarmory's getting 2 AKO'd, you already know physically defensive packs is getting 2 AKO'd, right? Doesn't even have to worry about like Rocky Helmet or Ruskin because Poltergeist doesn't care about that stuff. Oh, and let's also look at Ferrothorn. So, do you see how this could potentially be a problem? Oh, that's, that's special defensive, which almost dies, which is crazy. But you see how this could easily be a problem? Uh, however, I don't know, I mean... Maybe they won't give it Poltergeist. I don't think... They might not even give it a physical ghost move, to be honest. Like, that's just like, you know, the whole Dragapult way, right? You have to use Phantom Force. I really hope it isn't Phantom Force, man. I, I truly hope it isn't Phantom Force, because I feel like that is such a waste on this mod. But otherwise, Poltergeist would just be incredibly broken. You guys see these damage counts, right? It'd be incredibly broken. Now, that's just what they can do to make this thing broken, right? But uh, if we look at Ghost, and then we look at uh, just... There's something I want to... Can I look at moves for ghosts? I can't look at ghost moves. Uh, I'll just look at it after. But I'm trying to think of... The, is there any other physical ones? Like, obviously, Shadow Bone. But Shadow Bone doesn't really fish, uh, fit for this. Oh, there's a fish. So maybe... <laughs> no, that's Marowak's thing. Yeah, uh, Phantom Force. No, thank you. Um, 
Shadow Forest is Giratina's, obviously. So, no. so it would really depend on if this thing gets its own either ghost physical move. And let's say it comes in Gen 9, right? Let's say we're able to use it in Gen 9. Obviously, we're going to have new moves in Gen 9. Every single time we get a new Pokemon game, we're going to have new moves. That's just how it is. But yeah, Liquidation, Poltergeist, and obviously, uh, you wouldn't even need Super Power, to be honest, from Basculin. But I think Flip Turn would be a pretty cool thing, and obviously Liquidation as well. And this Pokemon also gets agility, so that's an option too. And who knows, again, if Wave Crash changes the way that it could potentially. Uh, we'll see. So now we have Basque Legion Female. Now, a few great things about this is that Basculin already has a great special move pool, right? Now, not in Legends Arceus. It does not have the best special move pool in Legends Arceus. First off, it has no good special water moves. I'm not using Water Pulse with 60 base power. I'm sorry. That is trash, right? It gets Aqua Tail, uh, which is physical, and it has Wave Crash, you know, physical water moves, right? So I'm not using that. But it does have access to Shadow Ball, and it also learns Calm Mind, which is a pretty big thing. And it also gets Hex. Now, a few things I wanted to obviously talk about first. Uh, the first one is the, you know, the potential of a spec set. So, regular Basculin gets access to Hydro Pump. Regular Basculin gets access to Ice Beam. And I also want to say that regular Basculin in like lower tiers does sometimes run choice specs. For example, I've, I've ran choice specs Basculin multiple times to deal with uh, physically defensive mill tank, which is something like that was run in NU or PU. And it's something that can check, uh, it's something that can check physical Basculin like choice band Basculin. And uh, by having Hydro Pump, you just nuke mill tank. You do a KO or you do like 90%. So, obviously, the best case scenario would be Hydro Pump, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, and then the last move doesn't matter too much. If your team has status, you'd put Hex to be similar to Gengar, right? Gengar runs both Shadow Ball and Hex. Um, and again, this mod could easily get away with something like this too. And this one could be a potential problem as well. Still faster than, yeah, still faster than uh, like prominent threats and like even while it might not hit as hard as the physical one, just in case it gets Poltergeist. Obviously, if it doesn't get Poltergeist, then none of this matters. But uh, let's let's do another calc here just to show you guys what I'm talking about. But let's make it modest. Let's give it a choice specs real quick, and then let's give it Shadow Ball as well. I mean, this is this is stronger than Gengar, right? At this point, this is stronger than Gengar because of the adaptability. So uh, that's specially defensive Ferrothorn, but obviously Pex easily to KO'd by Shadow Ball. Uh, obviously, uh, let's go Rotom Wash. Let's go. It, this one's special defensive Rotom Wash. And it's still 2 ko by Shadow Ball as well. So like this, this on both sides, this mod has a lot of potential to be an incredible wall breaker. Absolutely incredible wall breaker. And then don't get me started on Hex, right? And mods get status all the time via Para and will o -Wisp. Speaking of will o -Wisp, that's why I have Jellison right here. Jellison is a water ghost and has access to will o -Wisp. So that might also be an option on Basque Legion going forward. Right, that might be one of uh, one move it gets in its uh, move pool, and if that's something that this mod can run, I can easily see. Uh, let me, let's put Willowis right here. I can easily see sub um, Basculin also gets scald. Yep. So I can easily see sub Wisp Hex scald, and this mod also has, like, first off, it's it's really 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 like heavy HP. So you could even do. I mean, you're not going to do this, but if you wanted to. You can make it like 404 HP so that way your substitutes can't be breaking by uh, Seismic Toss. Now, in this case, it wouldn't matter as much because your Skulls aren't doing as much. But again, this is a potential for this Pokemon too in the future. Again, we're all theory mining. We don't know everything about this Pokemon. But just so your sir, your subs can't be beaten by uh, Seismic Toss, I think is a really cool thing. And just being a spin blocker as well is obviously a plus two, right? Like, it's not the best physically defensive Pokemon, but it can easily come in on extra drills, Rapid Spin, right? If you predict the Rapid Spin, of course. And also, low, uh, substitute will allow you to avoid status as well. So this is also potential. And another thing is that this Pokemon has access to Calm Mind. So Sub Calm Mind could be uh, something there too. And this is actually something that you could actually run with Sub Calm Mind, Willow Espen Hex. Uh, I might not be able to hit normal types, but that's fine. You could run Toxic Specs or anything like that. So I, I think I think this Pokemon has incredible potential, right, on both the physical and the special side. It is going to very much determine uh, depend on move sets, obviously. Will it get Poltergeist? I think it's for sure going to get Liquidation. It's a water type. Um, or at least acts to it via move relearner, move tutors, move t technical records, whatever you want to call it. Uh, will, and on the special side, it's will it get Will-O-Wisp? Because it already has Hex. It already has Calm Mind. And there's not, it doesn't need to get Will-O-Wisp to make use of Hex. Again, I just want to say, I already showed you the Specs one. And you already look at Specs Gengar and BDSP OU tearing it up, being suspect tested, potentially about to be banned, right? So this mod has a lot of potential. And the last thing, obviously, is what I talked about before, was will Ray, uh, Wave Crash be a recoil move that actually gives you a benefit of, 
giving you plus one speed because otherwise I'd rather just use Aqua Tail if that's the only other water move I have. I'll use Waterfall, I'll use Liquidation. So those are the three big things I think that's going to determine if this Pokemon is going to be incredible or not, but it has so much potential to be the next Crawdon, like, right? Or like just so similar to Crawdon, right? Just, um, and even honestly, like this is, if it does have both, if let's say every set I just talked about right now is 100% correct, right? And they're 100% legal. This mod might even be something that ends up being banned unless the OU tier is so fast that this mod is not a threat because I can't imagine Balance being able to deal with this. Shoot, not even Stall being able to deal with this either. I can't imagine anything being able to deal with uh, switching to that. It's it's Marowak, but fast, you know? Like faster. It's Crawdon, but faster, right? And it's faster. And uh, again, other Pokemon, other relevant Pokemon that are usually good at checking threats, right? But are relatively slow. Um, physically defensive Buzzwall. But obviously, it's relatively slow. Uh, you have Hippaddle is usually like a physical wall. Uh, Tapu Fini is the big one I was looking for. But, and you're faster than Tapu Fini unless it's like max speed. And even then, it can't even KO you. So, like, it's just something. It can easily come in. Or it's just special. It can easily come in on Pex. Don't just have to worry about knockoff. So, like, it's it's really interesting, right? Like, to think about how crazy this Pokemon can be. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Definitely uh, one of the coolest mods, in my opinion. Uh, also, if you guys didn't know, I am streaming at a charity event. Uh, 253 hours of streaming. I think we have like 70 hours left or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're doing like 253 hours of streaming and we've raised... Actually, I can show you right now. Let's go. Because we're streaming on A-Drive. It's me, Tyler, Seabad. Oh no, white mode. Uh, who cares? Get over it. Um, so yeah, look at that now. So we're streaming 253 hour marathon. I believe we have like 70 hours. Oh my God, is my internet so bad right now? What's going on? Yeah, we have 76 hours left. You have, C uh, you have Tyler right there. You have C back behind him. We have 76 hours left, and we've raised almost $160,000 for charity, right? Our initial goal was $50,000. So if you guys want to come through, um, I stream. I'm, I'm live at least from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern. I know the graveyard shift, but we're doing this for Games for Love. We're helping out children in the hospital. It's an amazing thing. And yeah, if y'all want to come through and you know donate or support, whatever, even if you have like a free Twitch Prime, uh, we're matching the sub revenue as well. So I just wanted to put that in the end. But hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this absolute potential monster of a Pokemon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.